Well, hello there, folks, and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. And a big hello to Chloe, if you're watching, because I think you, you quite fancied the idea of this one. So tonight for tea, I've made an absolutely delicious savoury mince in the slow cooker. You know, it's definitely ugly, but it's, <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. You know, it's a time-saving, energy-saving, and definitely a people-pleasing recipe. Perfect on its own, or with some crusty bread, or even with some you know extra vegetables on the side now it's just minced beef and potatoes and vegetables and a rich beef gravy but everything that i'm using here i will leave listed in the description box down below that but this is everything here and i will put these on the screen as we go so i've got some carrots i'm also using some swede but you can use parsnip if you prefer i've got some potatoes and then for the stock i've got some water i've got some onions and then i'm using some frozen garden peas i've got some worcester sauce and i'm also using some parsley I've got some garlic and also some tomato puree as well. And then obviously the start of the show is the minced beef. And I would recommend getting the best minced beef that you can because it will make a big difference. And then a couple of beef stock cubes. So this is my crock pot here. I'm going to set this on high for about five or six hours. The first thing I'm going to do is pop in my minced beef. And to this, I'm going to add a couple of beef stock cubes. So these are just OXO cubes, but use whatever billion cubes you have or you prefer so just crumble those in on top of your beef and then go in with your wooden spoon and just break up all your beef just to make sure it's not just in one big lump and then to that we're going to add the potatoes i've peeled half of mine and i've left half of mine with the skin on the ones that you've taken the skin off are going to disappear into your gravy and make it a wee bit thicker so that's why i've chosen to do that but you can do either or and then just give it a good wee rummage again with your wooden spoon and then to that we're going to add the onion this is just one medium finely diced onion and then on top of that i'm going to put the carrots and also the swede but like i said if you don't like swede use something like parsnips and then on top of that i'm going to pop the parsley and then some tomato puree and also some garlic i wouldn't add any salt at this point because you're going to get a you know quite a good bit of salt from the stock cube so i would wait until it was cooked and give it a wee taste and then adjust the salt accordingly and then to that we're going to add the worcester sauce and that's us basically done the only other thing you have to do is add some water you don't want to add too much water because you're going to get some water from the onions and the potatoes and the you know the other vegetables as they break down so you don't want to end up with a soup so don't be tempted to add too much water at this point i think it looks too dry because it does break down and produce a fair bit of liquid so you just want to put this on high for about five or six hours or on low for seven to eight hours and then we're going to come back and thicken up and pop in the garden peas because they're frozen you know they don't really take much cooking you just want to warm them through and this was me like i said about five and a half six hours later just bubbling away so i've just gone through mine again just broken it up with a wooden spoon because some of the mince was clumped together because it's been sitting there so long so i'm going to pop in some beef gravy granules or you could use something like corn flour or flour you know just something to thicken up the water because it's just water at the end of the day there's nothing in there going to thicken it up other than your potatoes but i wanted this a wee bit thicker and then to that i'm going to add my frozen peas and like I said, these really do just need warm through because they are basically, you know, they're cooked. You just need to warm them through. So just give those a good stir through. And I'm going to leave this for another half an hour and then come back to it. And as you can see, the lighting has changed. I have popped on the kitchen light because I'm starting to lose natural light. But you can see there it's going lovely and thick and it's absolutely delicious. I just popped in some salt and pepper. It did need some salt so that'll be up to you how much salt you add. And like I said, this is lovely with some crusty bread or even just on its own with a spoon. And that's how typically I would have it. It's absolutely delicious and ever so tasty. So that was me. And I hope you give this one a go. And do let me know if you're going to give this one a try. And just before I leave you, 
I wanted to say as usual a huge thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page, to the channel members here on YouTube and for you all for leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well. It's all very much appreciated and I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe or shopping, unbagging or my degusta boxes on the way as well or even back on Sunday for meals of the week because we all love meals of the week and it's my favourite time of the week on the channel. So you take care of yourselves and I'll see you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.